Hey Libra, this is um Leah with Enlightened Mystic Essentials. And today we are going to face your fears for January 2019. We have to face our fears and uh, maybe regrets. It just depends on um, what messages you receive from spirit. So you can uh, manifest and create success in um, 2019 because... 2019 is the year of the Empress, and the Empress is the all source of creation, right? The Empress is the energy that rules this year. So we are going to get your fears or regrets with the Dark Mirror Oracle. Mm -hmm. Then we are going to get main energies of these fears and regrets. Then we are going to go doorway, gateway to spirits. If you are new to my channel, I am Leah. I read numbers, colors, talk to spirits. And if you are subscribed, welcome back. So let's see what you're going to be facing for January. Spirit, what are the fears or regrets that Libra will face? First out, blinded to pain, Libra. Blinded. To pain. Another fear or regret that Libra will face in January spirit. Thank you. Perchance to dream. Perchance to dream. Another fear or regret that Libra will face. Regret, regret, regret. Spirit says regret, regret, regret. Mm. The child I was meant to be. The child I was meant to be. So, Libra, you have two fears and one regret on the board. Mm -hmm. Spirit for Libra, blinded to pain. What is the main energy here? Blinded to pain. You have three out. You have action. Blinded to pain. Action. And then it says adjacent possibilities. Envy. Adjacent possibilities. Mm -hmm. Envy. Perchance to dream for Libra. A chance to dream patience baby yes don't fade into the darkness just yet libra <laughs> and for the regret the child i was meant to be what's the main energy here okay stop card comes out face down crossing over envy and action seventh crown chakra here mm -hmm. what's in your head the child I was meant to be, spirit for Libra. Okay. Man holding a coin. Masculine holding value. Okay. Masculine holding value. And once we um go through everything, we are going to learn what you are going to um gain from a spiritual aspect. And when we need to surrender, release, or accept, we will, right? So now we're going to doorway, gateway to spirit. Let's see what the spiritual message is. Let's see what is the message that spirit has for you about these two fears and one regret. Spirit, for blinded to pain, taking action. All right, the bigger picture came out quick. The creation of a bigger picture. All right, Libra, you need to have a, a, a new perspective. You need to look from a higher standpoint at a situation. Perchance to dream and patience for Libra spirit. What's the message here? Okay. Face down. Ooh. Sacred rituals. Being prepared. Yeah. Prayer. Yeah. And this regret. The child I was meant to be. Man holding a coin. Masculine holding value. What's the hidden wisdom here? Okay. Listen. You have a card. That comes out face down, right? And it is reverse. 
It's the fire prince. Mm, aggression. In reverse. Mm -hmm, aggression. Alright. So let's go to your first fear. Let me move all this aside. Away. Okay, so blinded to pain. Right? Blinded to pain. This card here is a four. This is what's in the root of you. Mm -hmm. What's going on? This is the foundation, the structure, the stability mm -hmm, of you, Libra. Binded to pain. Have you sat in hurt, pain, depression so long that you've blindfolded yourself? Or has pain become a normal, a norm for you? You know, well, you know, I always, you know, I'm always hurting or... Someone is always hurting me, so it'll go away if I just close my eyes, cover my eyes. Yeah. Mm -mm. And then it and then it talks about something pertaining to your chest. Is this, is this your heart? Because see, on the chest here, there are cuts. Mm -hmm. And every cross cut pertains a fly. Uh uh. That's low energy. Flies are, 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 are filthy. They're dirty. They're a nuisance. It's aggravating. Mm -hmm. Right? And you have sat in this low energy of hurt and pain because it's negative so long that you are literally losing your color. The only thing that has not lost this color is, it, is your lips. Look at, her, look at the lips. But see red. Okay, if you, if you are new to my channel, I'm Leah. And if I haven't said it before, I read numbers, colors, talk to spirits, right? So your lips are red. Red represents blood, love, or defeat. And considering the fact that it's two, uh, Libra has a secret that they need to tell pertaining to uh, love or defeat. Uh huh. They have a secret, they're holding a secret because two is choices, decisions, conversations, debates, pairs. Or secrets. So it's the secret that Libra needs to speak up and speak out to be heard. Uh huh. Pertaining to love, pertaining to defeat, or the defeat of love. Hmm? So that's what's going on. Fear. Are you afraid to speak up, speak out? So you just close your eyes, cover your eyes, and everything will be all right. But at the end of the day, that low energy and all that cuts over the chest and heart and everything is hurting. That doesn't change the fact that it's there. Right? So clarifying blinded to pain, it says take action. And see, this is a card number eight. Eight represents spirit. Mm -hmm. I'm up here. Up here. Eight. See that eight? It's an eight. Spirit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Spirit is a being that moves throughout the earth to help promote spiritual growth. Mm -hmm. Spirit is here today. Eight. Eight is also the number of uh, infinity. Infinite. That eight circles of life. Circles of life. So now they're saying that you need to take action to get out of this blinded to pain Libra and this these the you know the horses if you look at this card the white horse is beating the black horse that's the positive energy you know or the positivity outrunning the negative because they're saying you need to leave the negative things behind right that is caused or has caused or is causing this uh, blinded to pain. You can tie your eyes up. I don't care. You can go sit in a dark room and don't have a blindfold on. At the end of the day, that doesn't change the fact that uh, Libra is sitting in pain. Right? So, when you look at this white horse, where is this white horse running to? It's running towards the uh, adjacent possibility here, baby. You know what the adjacent possibilities is? The side options. The side doors. What is not in front of you? What is not behind you, but what is on the side of you? 
And this number here is a six. The adjacent possibilities will bring a balance. It will bring a balance. Look at all those doors off to the side. Even if you continue to walk straight, you can fall through this door. Look at all those doors. So it's not about what's in front of you. You need to turn your sights left and right. That's why the creation of a bigger picture is here. Mm -hmm. Stop looking straight ahead, Libra. And look for side opportunities. Look for other opportunities. Yeah, because... That's what this is where that white horse is running off to. It's running over there. Mm -hmm. And it's bringing a balance. Bringing a balance. This is the balance. The creation of a bigger picture. Now listen. That next to uh -huh, your adjacent possibilities, you have envy. But understand the fact that envy is not looking at these doors. Yeah. But what is envy looking towards? The card that fell out face face down like this over envy. That seven crown chakra. Mm, mm, mm. You know why? Because that seven crown chakra is where you receive all your spiritual downloads. Talk to spirit and allow spirit in. And see, when you look off to the side, Libra, it's going to create some um, envy. It's going to create some jealousy. Uh huh. And this card talks about a uh, two. See, this? this is a two. Choices, mm -hmm. decisions, opportunities, doorway, gateway, conversations, debates, or secrets. Whether the secret is being harbored and not spoke upon, or the secret mm -hmm, is being exposed. But Libra. Let me tell you something about this card. You have to watch your surroundings. Okay? You have to watch what you do and how you move because this these this this balance, you going through this of uh, these other side doors, choosing another way, it's gonna it's gonna create envious. Someone who's gonna be envious of you. Cause see, see how the envy person has their back to those side doors? Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna tell you something. You they don't need to see them. Only person who needs to see him is Libra. <laughs> it's Libra. That's why Libra mm -hmm, is running over here to the adjacent possibility. And I'm going to tell you something. This person here, this is the person who is either lurking in the dark, hiding in the dark. Mm -hmm. Because see, in this, in this picture, you have a feminine energy. Now, this feminine energy. Energy doesn't necessarily have to be a feminine energy. This energy uh, takes on the position of weakness. A weak energy. But this weak energy is also a dark person. Somebody who's dark. Why you think they drip that dressed up all this black? And then the thing about it is they're hiding within the darkness. See this whole building? And then some, some, some people say, oh, no, no, that's not black. That's gray. It don't matter if it's gray or black. Because if it was black, it's darkness, negativity, and gray is confusion. So the person who's lingering in the darkness or lingering in the confusion, they're looking into the golden city. And what is gold? Gold is the enlightenment. And so is this person lingering in the dark, watching what's going on within the enlightenment of Libra? So they can come in and bring their confusion or bring their darkness. You decide who this person is. But at the end of the day, you need to have your sight set mm -hmm. on the big picture. And understand that angelic help is here. Or the creation of, because that's a three. Mm -hmm. And see, this is the eagle king. Considering the fact that an eagle uh, is a bird. Bird represents messages that is coming forth to Libra. Yeah. Now. This seven crown chakra. I just told you a message was coming. 
And where is this message coming to? It's coming to Libra's uh -huh, crown chakra. Mm -hmm. And that's why this person is looking over here at the seven crown. Because they're going to be mad because this within this uh, message that you receive, uh -huh, whether it be the message today or another message coming in, because I'm going to give you the business over here. Welcome, I'm Leah. It's an adjacent possibility here. And considering the fact that that white horse is running over there, let me tell you, light attracts light. Dark attracts dark, right? So this person or these dark forces, they don't want Libra to uh take action <laughs> towards the adjacent possibility of enlightenment and spiritual messages. No, you know why? Because they want Libra stuck right here. Child, who the hell, who y'all dealing with? And if you don't know who it is. You better figure it out. Mm -hmm. Because I'm going to tell you something. The ones that's around you is the ones that's the closest to touching you. You know how they say um, you don't have to look at, you don't, you, you don't have to watch your, no, what is it? You have to watch the people on the outside because those are the ones that are like aiming for you for your downfall. It's not always the outside people because see, let me tell you something about outside people. The people that's closest to you. They know to watch the outside people. But the closest to you is that in the inner circle. The ones that are closest to you. Those are the ones that will do your ass in. So you have to watch them. Yeah. So considering the fact that this crown chakra is a five. There's a change. Because five is change. Going to be created in Libra's crown chakra. About the adjacent possibility of taking action towards light attracts light positive attracts positive uh -huh. yeah leave the darkness behind because see even when we do it like this see the dark horse is closest to this blinded the pain while the white horse takes off over here to this adjacent possibility you better open your eyes <laughs> get up out of this pain somebody is either working against you or they want to keep you blocked so they decide just to feed you uh, messages to keep you turned away from you not paying attention within yourself, Libra. You better open your eyes because it's a message here. It's a bigger picture. Look at the bigger picture. Those same ones that is, you know, in your ear. <laughs> Don't let them be the reason, Libra. Don't let them be the reason. Matter of fact, spirit, let's let's see what let's, let's let's find out what this envy is about. Spirit for Libra, clarify this envy. What needs to be surrendered, released, or accepted about this envy? Yes, energy. What needs to? Okay, look directly on top. What needs to be surrendered, released, surrender to the beauty. Of the natural world. You know why? I just said this person is lingering in the dark. Or lingering in confusion. Looking into the golden city. What is the golden city? It's the same color as the sun. So if it's the same color as the sun. It's enlightenment. It's abundance. It's the wealth. Absolute success. And they ass is envious. And see the thing about it is. Look at that light pass in their head. See that white light above their head? Yeah that's because they have... And they, they have uh, gained knowledge of wisdom from sitting back in the darkness or the confusion about what's going on in the golden city. That's why they ass is envious. Mm -mm. Let them stay. You leave them behind. Because it's, it's no good. This is a person who don't want to see Libra up. This is a person who doesn't want to see Libra move forward. This is a person who doesn't want to see Libra grow. You keep them around you long enough. You will see. They're going to bring your ass down right on to this darkness and to this confusion. It says, take a relaxing break away from them people <laughs> and spend time in nature. Is Aren't these horses in nature? Yeah. 
But who's winning the race? Oh, the white horse Libra. And where's the, I mean, <laughs> Leah. And where's the white horse running off to? Oh, the adjacent possibility that will create balance for them. Plain and simple. Replenish yourself. Yeah, because you hurt and you blinded the pain by feeling the beauty. And by feeling the beauty and the the beauty. That's an angel. But that also represents your crown chakra. Yeah. Your head. Uh-huh. And ecstasy here. Yeah, because here is the bigger picture. Libra. Go towards the adjacent possibilities, please. Look for side opportunities. Don't continue to look at what's in front of you. And you don't want to turn around and see what's behind you because that's the past. Leave the past in the past. And in your present moments, look towards the future or look for side opportunities. Because it will present a way out for you. Away from this envious person. Whoever is causing this. Shit, they probably blindfolded you. Libra. I'm just saying. So spirit, when Libra takes off the blindfolds. And takes action towards the adjacent possibility to bring balance in the crown chakra over the envy mm -hmm. and sees the bigger picture mm -hmm. and accepts the beauty of the natural world around them what will they gain here it came out quick but it's, it it doesn't want to um come all the way out and then considering the fact that this card is reversed it it's like a limbo this is something that Libra will accept. And this may be something Libras want to accept. Because see the thing about it is. This is the reading for a collective. Mm -hmm. So I ask for the most prominent energies. That's why we got two fears and a regret. Right? It says unleash your spirit. Some may. Some may not. Express your gifts. Some may. Some may not. Dance to the sacred rhythm of life. You need to. Mm -hmm. So when it says unleash your spirit, unleash, untie what someone has uh, tied on you, has tied upon you, has bound you to. Yeah, because when you talk about a dark energy or a dark person, they bind people. Oh, you think you leaving me, Libra? You not leaving me, I bind you. Now look at your ass. Because Libra has not been um, doing any type of uh, protective uh, work on themselves. Yeah. But the Eagle King here, they say, oh, us, it's because it, it, this isn't just about the bigger picture. It's about angelic t help too, honey. That's why I say, am I the person who brings forth this bigger picture? Like, it's, I mean, listen, for every good, there's a bad. And some people, they they know how to manifest and create uh, good work. So for every person who knows how to create good work, there's a person who knows how to do, uh, you know, bad work too. And when it considering the fact that they're binding you in your pain, it might be somebody who's envious towards you um, and don't want you to see straight. And they want you to sit in this pain. You know, it just depends. You know? And then when it says, um, express your gifts, isn't this white horse expressing itself by leaving this dark energy or dark horse in, in, the, uh, in the past or behind it and going to this adjacent possibility because it brings the balance? Yeah. It says dance with the sacred rhythms of life. And you know what that is? Libra seeing the bigger picture. Libra accepting uh -huh, the beauty of the natural world around them. Yes. That's why I say look off to the side, Libra. And allow spirit to come in and help you with this crown chakra. Because you are sacred to yourself. 
There's not no uh, maybe or if you're sacred. You are. Because you are of divine value. You are, you are of divine worth. So what's the problem, Libra? Let's get on over here to this second fear. Perchance to dream. The quote to this card is, If I sleep long enough, uh -huh, all my problems will go away. So 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 you go from being blindfolded to just the hell with the just go to sleep. What? No. No, because you know what? You can go to sleep, but your problem still going to be there. Just take away my pain. And listen, this is a 10, one you, one thought, one journey. The one you is the one Libra. The one thought that you need to have is patience. And this is a seven here. Seven is a number of self-reflection. Yeah. And see, this card talks about divine time and taking place. But look where this card is at. It is covering the root, the intellect, and the emotional chakra. Yeah. Patience. Yeah. Yeah. And his patience is going to lead to the altar priestess. Libra is going to be prepared. Libra is going to. Yeah. Because see. This is a 12. This is a creation baby. Yeah. Because you need to be prepared for something. Uh -huh, that is going to happen. And see this car is. Main color is brown and white. Brown is for the grounding and the stability of purification because purification and clarification is white. But it could be so many things because you have a fire here and within this fire is a star there. New direction, wish granted. So is the see when it talks about preparation, prayer, you know, prayers and sacred rituals, are you have you been praying for uh help? Or are you being prepared to get out of this situation that is causing you to be um, sleeping in, in, in pain? And, and it could talk about friendship, romance, compassion, because all of that pink. Yeah. See? Or it does it say that you need to do some type of work, sacred rituals, to get yourself up out of this? You know what I mean? But just, just be patient. And everything's going to work itself out. You know what I mean? But if you sleeping. Uh-uh, babe. Libra. Air sign. You better be thinking about what the hell going on. But considering the fact that, that you're blindfolded here next to this envious person. Now you saying you want to go to sleep? Are you sleeping with the person who wants to claw, you know, that wants to keep you um you know, blinded and bound up? I keep telling you bound this. And then let's look at these moons. This is a new moon. So it's a dark moon. So what is going on with these moon cycles? So by the time the crescent is here, you bound but by the time the new moon comes in here, your ass want to sleep. You crazy as hell. You better be up using that damn logic. And getting up out of this. Because it's something dark here. Libra. So spirit. When Libra. When Libra. Stop and want to wake up and not stay asleep. And have the patience. Uh huh. Within the root of them. And be. And they. And they. Prepare. And they pray. Or do sacred rituals. <laughs> what are they going to gain? You got two that came out so fast. And guess what? They cross. The crown chakra. But they are face down. This is what you don't know. Or you don't see. That's your crown now. That's your crown. You have soul flame. And you have. Increased awareness. Yeah. Y'all better get with it. 
It says soul flame. Rediscover a lost part of yourself. Experience relationship, harmony, and happiness. Yeah, because you know why? The lost part of yourself, Libra. Somebody has your ass bound up and sleep. You sleeping on your damn self. That's why it crosses out or crosses over that seven crown chakra. Wake up. Wake up. Somebody's doing something to Libra. Libra, you better wake up. And then it says increase the awareness. Deep connection. Trust your inner voice. Let me talk about this connection situation. I have talked about it to many. When you talk about connections, I tell you, um, I use me for an example for you all. When I come forth, right, and make a video to give you a message, I pray to the divines. That's one. And I ask for divine spirit. That's two. To come to me so I can talk to Libra. So I can talk about two Libra, about Libra situations. That's three. When divine spirit comes forth, mm -hmm, I'm the middle man. I'm the two. Mm -hmm, and I deliver the message to Libra. See how that work? Deep connections. And you want to know what's the deep part? Deep is under the surface. Under the surface of you, of your skin. That's why right here, where is it? Where is my card? Oh, right here. No, that's not it. Where is it? You. You. The one. The one. One you. The one you. Yeah. Under the surface. What you cannot see in front of you. That's why I keep telling you to look off to the sides. There are opportunities there for you to get out. You know what I mean? And then considering the fact that they're saying that you need to be prepared when you move, when you make this move, you got to be prepared, babe, to go all the way. Some of you need to pray a little more, a little harder, or start praying to whoever you serve up under, or you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. Or you all, some some of you need to do some type of work here to um <laughs> unbind yourself because whoever this is, and especially if you like in a relationship with them or um sleeping with someone <laughs> your ass is hemmed up over here libra you done got yourself in a big old bag you better open your eyes and realize and let me tell you something i keep trying to tell everybody this is not a game this is not a game i don't come forth to play no games with you i'm just telling you like i see it so when it talks about um, trust your inner voice, if you ever had the feeling or you ever um, had the little voice whisper in your ear and say something just ain't right, you better take heed. Because see, I grew up at a time where my elders, like my mothers, my grandparents, my uncle, they always say follow your first mind. That's that. You know what the first mind is? Your inner self that's connected to spirit. Yeah, you better follow it. And now let me break these cards down. If you look, both of these images across the heart, hand open. Both of them. So let's go to this soul flame. Soul flame is across the heart. Protect it. But I'm open. And she's holding up her cloak. And her cloak is blue and gold. Blue represents joy, kindness, tranquility, relaxing. Yeah, I'm calm and, and, and what I'm cloaked in. And the gold trim is the enlightenment of. And then you have how many flowers? One, two, three, four, five. Five mm -hmm. lotus flowers. Five is change, baby. And lotus flowers represent uh, life cycles. Yeah, it's a change occurring or a change going to occur. Because Libra is going to open their eyes and realize, damn, Leah was telling me to Yeah, Leah going to give it to you. And if you still unsure, you can email Leah and talk to Leah and we'll, we'll, we'll get it um, solved, baby. Because I don't play. Now listen, she wears gold. 
straight like that. That's enlightenment. Gold is the same color as the sun. Enlightenment, success, ultimate success, growth, abundance. Yeah, but you're going to be enlightened. Across the heart, I am protected. But I am open to receiving my enlightenment. Wake up, Libra. Wake up, Libra. Because when I tell you. <laughs> yeah, somebody, some, somebody is doing something to Libra behind the scene. That's why the horse is running off to the side. To, and, and, and they're coming here to tell you to take, take action. Take action. You better take action. Take action. Being prepared, baby. You're going to either be prepared or you are being prepared or you are preparing. Right? All right, Libra. I didn't think y'all mess was going to go this far, but baby, it's all good. You know what I mean? Hold on. I'm going to get all my stuff situated so I can keep up with everything. Right? Okay. Boom. So now you get over here to this regret. Not the child I was meant to be. Yeah, because a seed. And let's look at his moon. You went from a new moon to a full moon. Bloom. See the moons? So, this talks about a, a seed that was planted in the past. That either Libra is dwelling on or Libra has forgotten. Time to move on. You talking about the child you was meant to be. And this is an eight. Isn't this another eight? Yeah. Eight represents spirit. Uni uh, infinite. Mm -hmm. Eight also represents spiritual rebirth and rejuvenation. Yes. Time to move on and grow. And then it talks about seven, seven, a man holding a coin or divine or masculine holding a uh, value, holding value, a seed that was planted. This is a regret. Is this talking about someone you thought you were meant to be with or you thought you should be with and you not with them? I don't know. What is this? Libra? Who you thought this person was supposed to be. Or who you thought this person was to you. They're telling you to move on out your past. Right? But for some reason it's ling you're, you're lingering in it. Because you have no action, no passion, no drive. And it's creating aggression within your root. Within your foundation. This is a four. The fire prince talks about the drive. You don't have no drive to see past what you thought was correct. That is not. Yeah. Your ass better open your eyes and hope that uh, whoever this envious person is. Uh-huh. That has you bound. Uh, isn't the one taken away. Yeah. Regret. Don't regret not taking action, Libra. Get up and move. Right? Let's see, yo. Let me see. Let's 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 look at this fire prince in reverse. No action, no passion, no drive. Mm -mm, no fire. Spirit for Libra. What is this uh fire prince in reverse? What needs to be surrendered, released, or accepted about this? No drive, no action, no passion. And then it crosses patience and uh, increased awareness. Look, try to hold it where you can see it. Surrender mm -hmm. your need to be right. Patience, increased awareness. And this talks about a conversation. This is two people. Libra. Conversation, debate, choices, pairs, mm -hmm. secrets exposed, or secrets held. Two, 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 two. It says, give others the gift of letting them be right. Be yielding, not rigid. 
This will resolve conflicts and improve your relationships with an S. Yeah. So it says, give others the gift of letting them be right. A seed that you have planted in the past. Uh -huh. Spiritual rebirth and rejuvenation. Eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a seed that was planted in the past that you thought was right. That's why it says, let others give give others the gift of letting them be right. Yeah, give them the gift. Give them the gift. That's the seed. Let them be right. Let them say what they got to say. So your ass can move on. And help. And hopefully they tell you that they bind your ass up. Just being honest. You know. It says, be yielding. Be cautious. Not rigid. Not weak. That's why I keep saying, shake up out of all of this. Right? You are either the man or the masculine holding a coin or something valuable. Or this is about a seed that was planted in the past that you're watching to bloom and grow, maybe grow, or you watching it go away. Let others be right. Just let them say what they got to say because at the end of the day, there's no drive. There's no action. There's no passion. So if there's no drive here, how can anything grow, Libra? This will help resolve conflicts. Resolve conflicts. Resolve conflicts. And improve your relationships. Because there's nothing here. That ain't what that say. That say this right here. Let it go. Right? So I don't know who the masculine is. I don't know who the man is. Holding something of value in your head. Well yeah. He holding something of value. Or the masculine holding something of value. Because I planted a seed back in the day. Or I just planted a seed five months ago. Four months ago. Two years ago. Five years ago. Conversation debating. The difference between the conversation is the talking. The debating is the fighting and the yelling and the arguing. Yeah. Two. Whether it be about secrets being exposed or secrets <laughs> being held. Leave it, let it go. Because you over here got somebody bound. and I mean, somebody got you bound. And then the thing is, they have you bound because they're hiding something? The secrets, baby. Or is it that you're holding a secret that you don't have the passion, action, or drive for it anymore? Who are you? Are you this person or is it about this person? Mm -hmm. A seed has been planted. And only because a seed was planted doesn't mean that it's going to grow and bloom. For which you or the other person thought it should bloom and grow for. So when, let's, let's find out what you're going to gain about this regret. So spirit, for the child I was meant to be, uh -huh, or the seed that was planted for a masculine or a man holding value with no passion, action, or drive, and letting someone else be right about whatever they want to say that they write about. What will what will Libra gain here about this regret? Don't let a regret stop you, baby. If you not if you don't feel like um something is right, or your first mind or spirit is in your head telling you let go, let go, goodbye. You do what you' supposed to do. Because see, all these cutting off of attachments and releasing of all this negative and black. That's what you want to do in this year here. So you can create better. So you can create abundance. Because you're supposed to be getting yourself together. You're supposed to be preparing yourself. Leave. Them. 
And this is uh, face down. So this is what you don't see. So when I say you need to be preparing yourself and letting go all this negativity and blockages and fears and regrets. Because you know why? Infinite abundance is here. But Libra can't see it right now. Because that's why it was face down. You better get with it or get lost. Or you get with it or get rolled over. Because life don't stop. The cycles of life don't stop for you or no one. Time rolls on, baby. It says obstacles are being removed. What? <laughs> Spiritual support and connections are increasing. I just gave you the support system. Yeah. I go to the divines. Send forth divine spirit. So I can have a conversation about Libra. Divine spirit comes. Uh huh. I talk to the divine spirit. Deliver Libra the message. Those are spiritual connections. Yeah. Libra. Abundance is here. You better shake up out of this. Uh, this is what you got to shake up out of. All is here. I don't know if you are blinded. Or someone has bound you. I don't care if you are in a relationship. I don't care. If you are married, I don't care. No one should bind you because they're binding you to something that they don't want you to see. Whether it's them binding themselves to you and you to them, it don't matter. How you going to force me to be with you? I'm going to tell you something about a person like this who goes against the universe and goes against the divine. It's going to come a time when this person here, they're going to reap their rewards. And when I say you don't want to be with this person, <laughs> whoa, you don't even want to be around this person. Because everything within this person and around this person is going to suffer. Hmm. I would rather be the one on the outside looking at your ass suffer. Because you bound me. But it's up to me, Libra. You, you, you to me. To shake up out of this. Shake up out of it. And open your eyes. Right? To your sacred self. And follow your soul. To infinite abundance. Baby, you don't see it? It's here, Libra. It may take a little, a little um, work. But it's possible, honey. So listen. Um, that, that, this is your facing your fears. Yeah, so I'm Leah, mm -hmm. and this is enlightened. This is enlightenment of you, Libra. Mm -hmm. Knowledgeable, informed, guided. Yeah, because we got it with spirit and divines. Yeah, mystic is spiritual. Mm -hmm. Outside this earthly realm we live in, spiritual. Yeah, and essentials is your life, your path, your life path, your journey. Your, because this ain't about me. I ain't a Libra. No, I'm not. I'm not a Libra. But this, this, you better. I just, I'm telling you what I see. And something is not right. Someone has you bound up and has you blindfolded up. And they, they, they you sleeping in it. You sleeping with them. Something is going on. They are around you. And then the thing about it is when you look at this, let me explain this to you. It's two men here. One man is holding the other man as he sleeps and fades away. Come on now, Libra. Perchance to dream. If I sleep long enough, it'll go away. Yeah, you know why it's going to go away? Because your ass is going to go away, Libra. You are the person fading away. And the person who's holding you down in your eyes. Oh, they holding me down. They got my back. They sitting there watching you fade away because of some shit that they done created or put on you. Open your eyes, Libra. Uh, if you need to, uh, what you need to do is pull up your birth charts. Look at your sun, moon, rise, and Venus. Okay. Venus is your love. Mercury. Mercury is your planet of coordination and communication. And see what's going on, right? If you need to connect 
or you need to uh, build up your spiritual, you know, um, side. I have a spiritual pathways video out. You can go look at that. I'm going to walk you through everything and tell you what's going on for a collective. If you need to email me, talk to me. My email is there. My website is there. Talk to me and let me know what's up. You know, I work in the light. True indeed. I, that, that I do. I promote a lot of light on my channel here. But if I need to dive to the dark, I'm a fence rider. Like, I don't, I don't have a problem going to the dark. You know what I mean? So if you need help, speak up and speak out. That's, speak up and speak out, man. I'm here to lead you to um, enlightenment. But it's not just up to um, me. It's up to you to want to get up out of this. So I'm Leah. Mm -hmm, and this is Enlightened Mystic Essentials. If you're new, welcome. I give you the business over here, baby. We have fun too. But I tell you what it is, you know. Um, and for my subscribers, happy new year, baby. Happy Empress. Stay positive. I love you guys because you guys are my light family. Mm -hmm. Don't overthink it, uh, Libra. Just do it. And just open your eyes. Because you have opportunities all around you. All around you. And you know, when you cannot follow your logic, right, air sign? You follow your heart, right? So you, you, you let your heart lead you. You don't add the confusion. Because see, when you start mixing that heart and that head, that's what this person wants you to do. You follow your heart because your heart cannot lead you wrong, okay? That's when you connect to your feelings. You know what I'm saying? If you have a feeling that something ain't right, something is not right. Regardless of what you know about it or not, regardless of what you don't know or what you know, your heart tells you, right? So if, if spirit can't get in your logic, spirit get into your heart, right? And you have to be open to these things. So you have to say, okay, if my eyes is closed and my mind is closed, let my heart be open and lead me. That's how I go. If your heart is closed, you say, oh God, my heart is closed. Spirit lead me and guide me through my logic. That's how you win on this person, baby. Yeah. And if you still confused, I'm here. Hello. Talk to me. So until next time, work on getting out of this. Get out of this. No, we don't want this for uh, 2019, babe. We're in January. Damn, somebody got y'all bound up just that fast. Nah, somebody probably been had y'all bound up because they keep saying that you're sleeping with this person or you... Hang around this person. You be with this person. And this person is sitting back and watching. That's the shit that get me. They sitting back and watching you fade away to the shit that they've done. Y'all better than me. Because I told y'all I'm a fence rider. But I try not. But I will. Listen. Stay positive. Um, work to get up out of this. And everything will be alright. If, if you need me, I'm here. Take care. Happy New Year and Happy Empress.